Hi, this is SV Biker. Welcome back to another unboxing and review video. Today, we're looking at the Stop and Go Mini Air Compressor. I wanted a small compressor that I could use in the garage on an ad hoc basis to keep the um, SV tires where they need to be, um, and also something that potentially I can stick uh, on the bike and take with me on longer trips. So at first glance, uh, this came in a box, but basically we've got a, a carry bag here um, with a handle. It seems fairly sturdy. Um, when we open it up, here is what we get. Um, this adapter here, I actually bought separately. Um, this is a Oxford to um, SAE adapter. Uh, this is because my um, permanent install for the Oxamizer battery charger, uh, which I reviewed before, um, I, I've left the permanent install kit for that um, on. So I bought this for a couple of pounds on Amazon. This just means I can plug the stop and go uh, compressor into the um, permanent install kit that I've already got on the bike. So this doesn't come with the pack, but you can buy this um, separately uh, for a few extra pounds. So in the box here, um, it, in, in the bag here, it came with these little adapters. Um, for pumping up sort of uh, you know balls or air beds there we get a couple of adapters here uh, obviously we get some crock clips so you can um, just install this direct sort of on an ad hoc basis if you need to um, onto a battery um, as well as the crock clips what else do we have a car charger here um, for uh, for a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter um, for charging up from a car uh, or if you've got a bigger touring bike and then here is the charger itself Let's get rid of those bits. so then we've got the unit itself here um, on the back there's a little um, a little hole for all the cable to go in the cables quite a decent length um, it's probably about just over a meter um, with a standard SAE adapter on the end here for plugging into your bike um, or sorry, plugging into one of the adapters that it, that it comes with, for instance, the crock clip adapter. On the um, on the top here, oh, sorry, on the bottom here, we've got a little light, a little LED light. Um, this comes on automatic when it's plugged in, so you know that um, you've got power. You haven't reversed the polarity of the cables or anything like that. On the front here, we've got a bit of a pressure gauge and then a button on-off button. I wouldn't say this unit feels cheap, but it certainly doesn't feel over-engineered. Over um, it's sort of a, a fairly rugged, hard plastic, and that button um, is, a, is a sprung, clippy button there. The air hose itself clips into a little compartment on the side here, um, and is not very long. Uh, and obviously you can put that onto your tyre, or use one of the adapters here if you've got to inflate an airbed. Now, when I was reading up um, some reviews of this particular unit, um, it's really compact. As you can see, it's really small. Um, if I just compare it, for instance, to like an iPhone, um, we've got a, like a 5S iPhone size here. So it's really, really quite a small unit. There's a couple of um, a couple of the reviews were saying that the pressure gauge isn't very accurate. So what I actually did um, at the same time that I bought this unit, I also bought this inline pressure gauge. This is quite a um, robust piece of kit here. Um, and basically it allows me to install the compressor onto this gauge, this is an inline gauge. Um, and then I've got like a quick release um, 45 degree here um, to, to apply onto the um, tire valves um, for inflating. I've also got the ability here just to press this button which releases the pressure from the system. This um, this button here, that's really good because it means we can, I can, if I go over pressure, I can just easily re release down to really accurate pressure. There is a difference between these gauges and I'm going with this one. So when I inflate the tires, I go with this one. In terms of using the unit itself, it is really good to use. It's a little bit loud and it's a little bit slow, particularly on the back tires, um, but it is a really great, unit i've got a shop compressor down there anyway that i use most of the time when i'm pumping up the tires but this is great as a as a quick grab and go type item um so let's go down to the garage and we'll show you how it works so i'm not quite sure how well the uh, mic on the gopro is going to pick this up um, but we've got here the uh, stop and go compressor you see the lights on because i've plugged it into the bike um, and it's quite a simple um, Set up, just take the uh, 
lovely colour coded dust cap off here. Then this uh, quick release pops on there like that. And we can see a pressure there of just under 30, uh, sorry, just under 35. You can see the difference of the two pressure gauges. Um, here, if I turn it on, you'll just see the volume that I was talking about earlier when you turn the compressor on. Thanks for watching my unboxing and review of the Stop and Go Mini Air Compressor. Please do like and subscribe and remember to keep that notification bell on for more unboxing and review videos to come.